my channel. So today's video is going to be on this makeup look that I have going on right here. And I did it with my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. I know it's kind of old, but this is one of those palettes that was one of my favorites. So I just pulled it out today and recreated this look for you guys. I used a lot of the warm browns in here and this burgundy color as well. I wasn't even sure what this eye look was called. Um, I know somebody in my job told me it was called Spotlight Eyes, so we're just going to go with that. And I did use Max Old Gold in the middle of the eye as well, just to give it a little bit of pop. And I feel like with this dark lip, it really complements the eyes. Also guys, please leave me in the comments some kind of inspiration for some looks that you guys are looking for. Sometimes I just have like these brain farts and I'm not sure what I should do for like makeup tutorials because I feel like it gets kind of repetitive over and over, but I figured I thought this eye was really pretty and I figured you guys would like it. So tell me what you guys want to see and I definitely will recreate it. And leave that all down below in the comments section. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video for more makeup tutorials and I will see you guys the next time. Bye guys. So the first thing we're going to do is make sure we prime our eyes and I'm priming my eyes with Max Paint Pot in Painterly. This is one of my favorite primers to use. Then coming in with the Chocolate Bar Palette, I'm going to use that brown, light brown color and I'm putting that into my crease as my transition shade. And I'm going to slowly build that into my crease as you guys can see with my MAC 217 brush. So now just taking that light color from the palette, I'm going to take a flat shade of brush and make sure I put that onto the lid space. Don't bring it up any higher, just you're just only putting this on the lid space. So then going in with a little bit deeper brown, you're going to go back into that crease to deepen it up a little bit. And then this is when we're going to come in with that burgundy shade from the palette. And I'm taking a clean MAC 217 brush and I'm just going to concentrate this on the outer corner of the eye. I am going to slightly bring it up to the crease, but making sure I just stay right on that outside corner and you're gonna see I'm gonna blend it in in a second but after that I'm gonna also take it and I'm gonna go on the inner corner as well and that's gonna be like this spotlight eye so you're gonna leave that middle lid open and as you guys can see here this is when I'm bringing it onto the inner corner and just bringing it up into the crease and just blending it So now just taking Max Pigment in Old Gold, I'm going to take another flat brush and I'm going to put that, concentrate that right onto the middle part of the lid, making sure not to go too high up into the crease. I just want to concentrate that right in the middle part of the lid and this is what's going to make it look like really pretty and kind of make the eye stand out a little bit. So um, yeah, so now I'm just blending in that burgundy color a little bit and then I'm going to go back and just blend in a little bit more onto the crease. So now taking Smashbox Photo Primer, I'm just going to put that all over my face to just prep my skin for my foundation. So I'm using Max Match Master and mine is in 2.0 and I'm using a Makeup Geek brush to apply my foundation with. This is the flat foundation brush. So now just going in with my LA Girl Pro Longwear, no, is it Pro Longwear? No, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes, down the bridge of my nose like I normally do. Um, and then going in with Max Light Boost. I love this to just brighten and lighten the under eye area. It's been working really well for me. And then using my IT Cosmetics brush. Um, I did use this in my Flawless Foundation routine. So if you guys want to go check that out, um, it will be listed down below for you guys. So now just taking my Laura Mercier translucent powder, I'm just going to dust that on my face. And if you guys get a chance to go check this out in Sephora, please do. This is by far one of my favorite powders to use. 
So now I'm taking my mineralized skin finish and medium golden and I'm just going to um, make sure I set my foundation with that and just put that all over my face as well. And then coming in with my crown blush bronze and illuminate. Um, this is a compact and it's pretty big as you guys can see but it has my bronzer, my blush and a highlight in it which I like because it's really great for travel and I don't have to bring like multiple items with me. So I'm just bronzing up my face here and then I'm going to use that same palette and I'm going to use the, the blush which I really love. It's a really nice pink pretty blush and then also I'm taking from that palette the highlight and I was really surprised at how nicely the highlight came off. Um, it might not come off that great in the camera because you know I don't know just lighting in general but it really looked pretty on the skin. So now taking a brun uh, a brunzel. Now taking a pencil brush and that same burgundy color from the palette. I'm just going to make sure I blend this underneath my eyes because I like to give it a little definition and I feel like it makes the eyes pop a lot more. And I'm just going in and kind of like just smoking it out a lot. Then taking Max Night, Night Moth, I'm just going to line my lips with that. And then taking Anastasia's Sad Girl, I'm putting that all over my lips as well. And this is the finished look, guys. I really like the way it came out, and it's really, really gorgeous. Even for a holiday look, this is a great look to do. Some red and golds in there with some soft brown. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.